Welcome to Das Geek. Yes, there are two of me. You're welcome. No, I'm very sorry that you have to look at two of me. But get this. We have it. The 922X Pro Streamer Cam is recording right now at 60 frames per second. Now, a lot of you were asking for this and asked specifically to see how it runs in Manjaro Linux. I installed zero drivers. I changed zero settings. I literally plugged it in and then I went into OBS and there I changed to the YV12 so that, you know, emulated so you could get to the 60 frames per second. And outside of that, I changed none of the coloring, the brightness, none of those settings. There are no filters on. The 920 at the top is used to be my favorite cam of all time, but clearly being able to run at 60 frames per second when I do a lot of video game recording is important. Why is that important? Well, what happens is when I'm recording a video game footage, I have to lower it down a lot of times to 30 frames per second. And the reason is if my webcam is set to only 30 frames per second, but OBS is recording at 60, what you see is my mouth moving and then the sound isn't synced with it quite right. And you may be seeing that right now, although I'm, I'm not playing a game, so nothing's moving behind the scenes at 60 frames per second. So you may not see it, but you, you would see that if I was running a game in there. Maybe we'll do that here in a second. Um, and, and that causes a major issue with your video. There are a lot of videos where I thought, oh, that's a perfect recording, only to go back and look at it and see that my voice was completely unsynced with uh, my mouth movements, and it just looked completely unnatural. And that especially matters if you are being a host of or reviewing something and people are paying attention to you more than perhaps what you're showing. So the 922X runs at a hundred bucks. So, it, and it's hard to get a good deal on one, even used or on eBay. I ended up having to pay that full hundred bucks, which you know how cheap I am. I generally do not like to do, but to get that 60 frames per second is really important. Now what you're seeing right now is zero light. You can see I have all the lights turned off. That's the same test I did against the 920 and the 930. I did not like the 930 that I think it was meant for a different audience, more business applications, but I think the 922 is doing beautifully. So let's put some light on and see. Now you can see the, you know, 922 and 920, the difference between them while the 922 may be slightly brighter is really quite minimal. They both do very well in low light. Now adding kind of a spotlight down and maybe it's not aimed perfectly. You can see the 922 suffering kind of like what from the 930 suffers from a little bit of blowout. Now you can go into the settings and adjust that down, but the 920 is a little more natural. So I'm assuming they kind of use that same lens perhaps that they used in that 930 or that same right light technology that gives that kind of blown out view there. But otherwise, like I said, because it is getting 60 frames per second, kind of worth it. Now I'm going to move OBS over so you can see the settings. And that's going to make me go like a million of me, but uh, just bear with me here. So you can see all the depth there. Let's go over here and look at the 920. Well, that's the text. Let's look at the 920 here. And you can see we're on YV12 emulated 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. No buffering. And then if we go to the 922X, you can see 1280 by 720 YV12 emulated at 60 frames per second. Now I tried both USB 3.0 and USB 2.0, did not have an issue using either. I did read on some forums, people saying you had to use the 2.0 uh, port, but that hasn't been the case, at least with my machine. Okay, so this is the 922X with the light on at 1920 by 1080. Now once you get to 1920 by 1080, you cannot run at 60 frames per second. You can only run at 30 frames per second. So right now you're seeing this at 30 frames per second. And you can see the quality of the detail and some of the things in the background, etc. And it does fairly good. So we're going to do the same thing now, but we're going to switch to the 920 just to kind of show you a comparison. So this is the 920 running at 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. And you can see it does a relatively good job as well. There's not a huge amount of difference in the detail or anything between the two. They both do fairly good at 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. If you want the 60 frames per second with the 922X, you do have to be at 720p. So that's one of the catches there, uh, which for videos that I do, that's not a big deal, but perhaps for videos that you do, that may be an issue. And there's kind of an interesting comparison there, both running at 1920 by 1080, not 
fairly sharing the real estate size here, uh, but at least giving you uh, some context between the two. Let me see if I can scoot this one up a little more. So here's another kind of comparison. I don't have it sized perfectly, but 1920 by 1080, they're kind of shrunken a little bit, so they both fit on the screen, both running at 30 frames per second here, and you can see the quality difference. So that's it. That's the 922X. Do I love it? I think it's fantastic. I think the quality of the video that you get out of it is as good as uh, the 920. Not necessarily better, but as good as. I just don't like that Logitech right lighting, uh, but I love the ability to get 60 frames per second. That's going to help me tremendously in making videos. If you're doing Twitch or YouTube content or anything like that, that really matters. If you're not, then you could just record OBS at 30 frames per second, have a 920 and record at 30 frames per second, and you're gonna be golden. But if you need that 60 FPS, if you're recording or gaming at 60 FPS, then it's gonna be necessary to make that upgrade. And at 100 bucks, it's really not that bad of a value out there. Now, one thing I wish is Logitech would write some drivers for Linux. Thankfully, the Linux community has come in and made it work despite that, but it just kind of stinks that Logitech is sat out there without actually putting any official drivers in. So you can't use some of the features like the background removal and that type of thing. So Unfortunately, I'm going to go into Windows 10 here and just take a look at some of those features so I can show you uh, what the 922 is capable of because that's one of its big features it talks about is the background removal uh, within its own software and see how well that works. So now we're looking at the 922X at 1024 by 720 and 60 frames per second within Windows 10. And Logitech doesn't come with any software in within its own package that allows you to remove the background you actually it does come with a download for something called chroma cam which is created by personify which i believe does not have a linux port either but we're going to check it out here once it finishes installing and see how well personify works so now that that's done installing let's open it up and it gives us some options start your video application choose personify chroma cam and camera settings remove or replace your background okay <clears throat> oh there we go so hmm not everything you would dream of it looks like it's a little pixelated but it is trying to emulate without having to have um a, an actual green screen behind me it's trying to emulate that it's a little choppy there uh, there's probably some adjustments and things you could do but if you're not moving a whole lot it's probably okay uh, if you start moving it's kind of cutting out in and out but not bad it's a little free package that you get with your 922x that you can use within windows uh, but i don't think there's a big loss for linux users in not uh, having this uh, i guess it would be cool since you are paying that 99 dollars, and i'm sure that software goes into that price uh, but until logitech gets its business together with doing actual drivers for uh, Linux, then this is kind of what we're going to have to deal with, I guess. So in any case, this is Windows 10 with that, and uh, you can take your background out entirely, or we can just get rid of this because it's kind of not what I would, something I would personally be using on a professional stream, but good enough. So there we go. This is the Logitech 922X. I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you wanted to see tested that I didn't do. Otherwise, if you're trying to choose between the two, the 920 and 922X and the $100 isn't going to break your budget, definitely go with the 922 because you get the 60 frames per second. If you have a budget and you're really worried about it, get the 920, uh, save some money. You can get them for a really good price used and you're going to be just fine recording at 30 frames per second, honestly. Uh, for the most part, and most of all of my streams were done on the 920X, all 150 plus videos up until this point. So uh, it's certainly usable, and most people are not going to uh, find too many issues with it. So until next time, get out there and film yourselves, make some content, and fill your brains! Don't get too far. Don't get like the video.